Hey there, I hope you're doing really good today. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the best 30 tips and tricks for your new iPad Pro 11. So let's begin with the video now. Hey there, my name's Sergio with Surge Tech, and in this channel, I do tech reviews and tutorials. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so now. Hit the bell to receive notifications on my future videos. There's gonna be links to all the information that I talk about in this video down below in the description. All right, let's get right to the video now. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the best 30 tips and tricks so you can get the most out of your new iPad Pro 11. And I'm also gonna include some tips for your new Apple Pencil Pro that is gonna go along with it. So let's Let's begin with a trick number one. The first tip that I'm going to give you for your new iPad is going to be the navigation gestures. Since as you can see this new iPad does not bring the home button on any of the sides so it's just a full screen so it's important that you know how to navigate through the iPad. And that's going to be really simple basically if you're inside an app to get out and go to the home menu all you have to do is swipe up right here in the center and that's going to take you to the home screen. If you want to see all the current apps that are open all you have to do is swipe to the side and hold. That's going to bring the multitask menu as you can see right here. Trick number two is going to be how to bring the control center down. To bring it all you're going to have to do is swipe down from the top right corner and that's going to bring down the control center. Next up I'm going to show you how to take screenshots on the new iPad. So basically all you're going to have to do is press the sleep or wake button which is going to be right here on top and also the volume app which is going to be right here on the side side too. So you press the sleep and wake and you also press the volume up and that is going to automatically take the screenshot. Also if you want to turn it off all you're going to have to do is long press the block button right here on top and the volume down. You press and hold and that's going to bring you to the power of menu. And if you want to restart it all you're going to have to do is press volume up, volume down and then press and hold the wake and sleep button. Let's try it out. Volume up, volume down, and press and hold this button. It's gonna take some time. And as you can see, it just turned off. Also, the new iPad Pro, it's gonna come with a USB Type-C port that you can connect to an external monitor. So all you need to do is purchase a cable that has a USB Type-C and then connect it to a monitor. And with that, you can also charge on other devices that have the lightning cable or maybe USB cable as long as it has on the other end the Type-C cable. You can also charge the iPad faster if you buy the fast charging cube or you can also use the charger of a MacBook Pro. It's going to work and your iPad is going to be fine. And also since you don't have any home button on the screen, you can just tap to wake. And that is going to automatically come preset on your iPad, but if you don't want that to happen, you can just go to the settings, head to general, and then once you're in general, you're going to go to accessibility. You're going to go all the way down to interaction where you're going to see the option that is going to say tap to wake. So you just activate it or deactivate it depending on what you would like to do. You can also switch between the apps that you have open by just swiping to the side either left or right to jump between all the apps that you have open. Also with the new camera you're able to take pictures with the portrait mode by just pressing portrait right here on the camera and you're gonna see the blurred background. You can also activate the instant do not disturb mode by just swiping down from the top corner and right in the control center you can just press the moon right here and that is going to activate the do not disturb. And now if we go to the settings and then we scroll all the way down to where it says screen time, you're going to have this little menu that is going to tell you all the time that you've been using the iPad including where have you been using it. For example, you can see here that I've been using it two seconds here on the settings menu. But not only that, you can also put app limits. Let's say that you're spending too much time on an app maybe Instagram or maybe just another game or Netflix, you can add a limit on the time that you can use any of these apps. You can also schedule a downtime, select the always allowed and also content and privacy restrictions. And with a new iPad Pro, you can also set up different faces on your face ID. All you're going to have to do is go to your settings, you're going to head to passcode and then put your passcode and you're going to have an option that is going to say set up an alternate appearance. So that way two persons can unlock your new iPad. Also with the new camera features you can create your own emoji. To create
create your own and emoji all you're gonna have to do is go to your messages create a message and down here you're gonna see the little monkey you select it and you're gonna have a little plus sign right here on the screen if you press it that is gonna allow you to create your own as you can see we have the different options we have the different skin colors hairstyle head shape eyes brows nose lips ears and a bunch of options that you can select also if you're inside an app you can make use of your ipad dock by just swiping up a little from the middle that's going to bring up this little dock right here where you can select other apps as well where if you press and hold the app and try to drag it on the screen it's going to allow you to use the split screen as you can see right now and you can change the size by just going to the middle right here and you can just move it to the size it pleases you and if that's not enough you can also swipe to the swipe up to get the dock again and select another app put it right here in the middle and now you're gonna have a floating app on the screen so you don't get to use only one or two you get to use three different apps at the same time and also you can drag and hold and move it to the other window Let's say that you're writing an email, you can just simply select it and move it to that email. Now, next up, if you have the Apple Pencil and you wanna know the battery that you have left, all you're gonna have to do is grab your pencil and put it back on your iPad. Automatically, you're gonna have here the battery of the Apple Pencil on the top. Also, if you have your Apple Pen, if you just tap the screen, it's gonna automatically take you to the notes where you can easily draw whatever you want and you can access to this feature by just unlocking your ipad you're gonna go to the settings and once you're in settings you go all the way down to where it says notes once you're in notes you go all the way down again and you're gonna see right here where it says access notes from lock screen so you just enter to that menu and you're gonna have these four options which one is gonna be off the preset option you have always create new note you have resume last note created on lock screen and you also have resume last note viewed in notes app so you you can select whichever of this ones and now your ipad will do so and right here on the same menu you're gonna have only draw with apple pencil which is gonna be a really useful thing because if you have it deactivated and then you happen to go and draw a note maybe if you put your hand on it it's gonna interfere with the drawing and if you want to slide down you're gonna have to press the x and then go over it but if you have the only draw with apple pencil option activated whenever you draw something you'll be able to draw and move with your fingers that way you're not going to interrupt any of the drawing as you can see that i'm doing right now you can also screen record the whole screen of your ipad pro by just swiping down on the control center and you're going to have this option right here we're just going to screen record the whole screen and then you can also share with your friends if you want to send it or maybe just keep it to yourself as you can see now i'm going to go to photos and here is going to be the video and the way to access to this screen record option is going to be through control center which is right here and you're going to go to customize controls which this menu will also open all different options Options that you can put in your control center so you can customize it so you're gonna see screen recording right here is gonna be deactivated so you have to press the little green button and that's gonna take it to include then if you also want to add alarm maybe you want to add hearing home magnifier and all of that you can do that from this menu now if you expand the control center menu and long present each of these options you will also get an expanded menu of them for example here i can activate the night shift i can also customize the volume by just long pressing on any of these ones if you're missing the home button on the new ipad pro 11 you have an option that you can activate your own home button by just going to your settings you're going to head to general then accessibility and you're going to see all the way down here assistive touch when you activate it this is going to work as a home button but it's going to be a multi-functioning home button because if you press it you're going to have these different options but here you're going to have the home button if you want to customize it and make it only a home button you can go to the settings once again general accessibility assistive touch and you go customize top level menu so here you're gonna have all the things that you have available to you with the assistive touch and if you only want it to work for home all you have to do is delete all of them and then in custom you're gonna add home once you do that and save it this is only gonna work as a home button as you can see now I'm gonna go to the photo app and I just press once and that's it and on this new iPad Pro, you can also lock your notes. Let's say that you have an important information right here. All you're going to have to do is press the share button on the notes app. And here you're going to have the option that is going to say lock note. To just do that, it's going to ask for a password. For me, I'm going to use one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And as a hint, I'm going to put four, three, two, one. 
So you just press done and that's gonna be it. And last but not least, we're gonna have the customization of the video recording. So this is really important for you to know since it's gonna be about your camera and only about the videos that you record. So basically when it comes about recording, your camera has several ways that you can record, several qualities, and to customize them, you have to swipe up, go to your settings menu, and then you're gonna head all the way down to where it says camera. Once you're in camera, you're gonna see the record video. And here you're gonna have an option to record at 720p HD at 30 frames per second, 1080p, 1080p, 4K, 4K, and 4K. So you can select whichever of this. And now whenever you go to your camera, you're gonna see right here, a little sign that is gonna tell you how it is recording. So that was it on the best 30 tips and tricks for your new Apple AirPod Pro 11. If this video helped you out, go ahead and give a like and don't forget to leave a comment down below on which trick was your favorite subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and as always i'll see you in the next video